Hello and welcome back to another collaboration vlog. Now this month's collaboration is the top three modifications that we've made to our caravan or your motorhome. Please take time to watch the others within the collaboration. I'll put a link to them in the description below and I'll also put a link up the top at the end of the video. So the top three modifications that we've made to our caravan are all things that make our life a little bit easier uh, and some that help us out in terms of uh, being able to surf the internet. which We'll tell you about that a little bit later on. So our first modification is a one that we did in our bathroom and uh, if you like us and you get up in the night to go to the toilet there's nothing worse than having to fumble around for a light switch and uh, not being able to see what you're doing so what we did is we installed the some LED sensor uh, battery powered lights we've got two of the lights we've got one in the main part of the bathroom and we've got one in the shower room for some reason our shower doesn't have a light in it there are other lights within the shower but if you're having a shower later when it's a bit darker that extra bit of light within the shower area is absolutely fantastic now it's great in the night you can get up just walk in uh, half asleep the light comes on uh, you can see what you're doing and then you go back to bed and it, uh, it goes off like i said they are battery powered and they work off a timer there's a sensor there and you can increase the time if you want to or decrease the time. I've not actually touched that time in, uh, to be honest with you, because the time that it, it works, um, you know, it seems to be okay. So yeah, the first modification is the sensor lights within our bathroom. The second modification we did was uh, one that I did quite a while ago when we first got the caravan, and that's our motor mover. It's something I always wanted to do on the caravan, although uh, I'd say probably eight or nine times out of 10, I do reverse the caravan onto the uh, onto the pitch it's always handy to have that that precise movement of the caravan with the motor mover so for example if we're hitching up i always hitch up at the storage using the motor motor mover and it enables us to check the nose weight and move the caravan backwards and forwards uh, you know in order to do that um, i bought the motor mover from uh, toshiro it was around uh, i think it was 500 pound and um, it was a Toshio um, special one that I got, but they did send an e-move. It's been a cracking addition uh, and we've not had any problems with it at all. Uh, fitted it myself, I put a link into that video up above and it took me quite a few hours to fit it. And um, that was mainly due to filming it um, keep stopping and starting. But the, yeah, the, the mover has been absolutely brilliant. I've not had any problems with it since we fitted it, however, uh, the long gap of not being able to use it and not being able to use the caravan. I have almost drove off a couple of times with the, the motor mover attached, so that's something that we need to make sure that I've taken that off. It's not an automatic mover, you have to manually wind it on, but it's yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a good purchase uh, and uh, it's something that gets used quite often. The third and final modification that we've done to our caravan is one that I looked at and studied at for quite a while. Um, it's something that I pondered and um, eventually um, pluck up the courage to do and that was to fit an external antenna to the caravan. I researched loads of antennas, ones that you stick to the side of your caravan, uh, ones that you mount on top of the caravan, there were some magnetic ones, there was all sorts of different ones, different boosters. And uh, this one that I've got is a pointing puck too. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, and that's kind of got the best reviews. It's 5G ready and we're only using it off 4G and it connects obviously to any, uh, any network. We've got that hooked up to a Netgear Nighthawk 2, um, which obviously gives us the internet inside there. There is a, a micro SIM, which we have at the moment unlimited data and i think we pay about 16 pound a month for that for unlimited data and that's through smarter it does work really well a lot of people have asked me about the speeds uh, and what we get um, in terms of as it increased the speed putting the antenna on there well we're down at uh, tewkesbury uh, like i said and we've been getting on the download anything from 30 to 40 megabytes and on the upload up to 20 megabytes per second which is absolutely fantastic we think for the site because you know what these club sites internet is uh, it's not that great we've got molly who watches um you know a lot of youtube and sometimes facetimes of friends we've got netflix on our television and sky go which works it's also handy for us to check what the attractions are around and also if uh, at the moment if you want to book restaurants and stuff like that uh, the internet's always there for us to use 
I was a bit nervous about fitting the puck too to the caravan because I had to drill the hole in the roof. But when I looked at it, I thought there's a big hakey sunroofs in there, sunlights that uh, only sealed the same way as I'm going to seal it. So um, I thought there shouldn't be a problem. It was only a fairly small hole in comparison to whatever else is on the roof. I also put a USB socket in to power that up, which came off the radio. So that third modification, the Puck 2 antenna, has been an absolutely fantastic addition to our caravan. So that's our top three modifications that we've done to our caravan. Please take time to watch the other videos within the collaboration. As I say, there'll be a link below. Uh, and also, please hit like and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram, and we've got a Facebook page, and we've also got a website. So thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.